Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do a cervical spine on the table. Uh, if you have a trauma patient, they're not going to be able to stand up for the rest of their images, so you're going to have to do it with them lying on the table. Now, I'm going to do the odontoid first, which, again, you're going to be centered since it's the open mouth. We're going to go ahead and set it up so that I'm centered right over the mouth. Now, to see that C12 area, I'm going to want to line up the top of the... Uh, the top occlusal plane with the base of the skull or the mastoid tip because all those are in line with each other. So have the patient open their mouth, all right, there's his top teeth and you just make a line from the bottom of those top teeth all the way down. Here's his mastoid tip. So that seems to be in alignment with each other so that's a good position. Now. If David had been like that, okay, now open your mouth. There's the top of the teeth, and there's his mastoid tip. So that would have been an angled line, and we would not have wanted that. Because we want our line to be nice and straight, and in essence, when the patient's laying down, that line's going to be hitting perpendicular into the table. So we want to make sure the bottom of the top teeth here. Draw that imaginary line. Here's the mastoid tip. So that line is formed. We know we're there. So this is good. Double check your light field. I am going straight through the mouth. Collimate down. Make sure that his head is straight because you want it going mid-sagittal. Okay, now you can have the patient phonate all. And this just places the tongue in, at the bottom of the mouth. Now, not everybody's going to be able to do this. You know, it all depends on uh, if the patient is cooperative, because it is a trauma patient, and you never know the situation there. But that is our open mouth. Now I'm going to do the AP axial, so we're going to use a 15 to 20 degree cephalic angle. So with our angle, you're going to want to line up the turkey tray, okay, and I'm using the 10 by 12 or 24 by 30 centimeter image receptor, and I'm going to want our central ray to hit, there's where his thyroid cartilage is, so I'm going to go in the upper portion of that thyroid cartilage, which is the level of C4. Make sure it's mid-sagittal. You can bring the chin up just a little. Usually if the chin is at a position where it is in line with this mastoid tip, that's a, a nice throwing the head back. Now, if it is a trauma patient, if they cannot extend that head, what you're going to do is just put a little bit more angle on the tube and then center at find the thyroid cartilage and center at that area. It's not always is your patient going to be able to do the complete uh, extension of the head if, if they are injured. Okay, so that is our AP axial. Now we're going to do both of our obliques. Our obliques involves the 15 degree to 20 degree angle. Now we're going to do the right oblique first, so have your patient 45 degrees, and if it's the trauma patient, go ahead and put that angle sponge behind them to keep them in place. Okay, now you can see how the head is angled down, and I want the head to be at a nice even plane with the rest of the body. So I'm going to put some sponges underneath his head, and then I'm going to bring the chin out. thyroid cartilage. Always want to look at that and then make sure that this transverse line is in the mid neck there. So that is our AP axial since it is the AP oblique that is and once uh, you have your patient turn double check your marker since he is 
to his right side, you're going to mark the right side of the image receptor or you can place it the right side of the neck. One other thing you should check when you're doing these obliques is oftentimes a patient will want to roll up this shoulder and you got to watch out for that because that shoulder will be right in the beam and it's not going to make a very pretty image. So make sure that this shoulder is back because you don't want to see this shoulder in there's the shadow right in the middle of his neck. That would be a major problem in your image. So make sure that this arm is back. Okay, now for the left oblique, we're going to have the patient turn to the left about 45 degrees. Okay. Lean, lean your hips back. There you go. Right, relax that shoulder. I'm going to turn the head just a little. Okay, it's the same angle as before, 15 to 20 degrees. And you just want to get centered over the mid-neck. And you want to check out that thyroid cartilage. And have your line cutting across that. And again, you're at C4 at this level. Now since we are doing the left oblique, we're going to place our left marker either on the left side here of the neck or you'll have to pull out your image receptor, place your left marker here on the left side of the cassette and put it in that way. Okay, one final image I would like to show you. Sometimes uh, if you have difficulty on the open mouth being able to see the top of the dens. There is one other uh, projection you can do to see the top of the dens. Because whenever you're doing the open mouth, you want to be able to see the dens in completion. Because sometimes fractures occur in that area. So we're going to do the Fuchs method. do this if the patient does not have any neck injuries because with this you're going to extend the head way back. So I'm going to have David move his chin way back because this border of the mandible is going to be going straight up and down perpendicular to the table. So I'm going to bring it down just a tad. There you go. Because you want this border to be going straight intersecting perpendicular. Okay, next we're going to center just directly right underneath the chin. It'll look like you're just skimming the bottom portion of the chin. And then you can just call them back down because we're only interested in seeing the dens. So when you take this image, the picture will look like the dens is shining right through the opening of the frame and magnum. So uh, this is only needed to be done if you cannot see the dens on that open mouth. Okay, thank you.